everyone, my name is Julie. I'm a librarian at Vancouver Island Regional Library, um, our Nanaimo North branch. And I'm here today because I thought I would um, showcase some of the interactive kids books we have at the library. We have a whole bunch of um, books that feature interactivity at the library, um, so it was hard just to choose a few to share with you today, but uh, I think I've chosen some good ones. So. Let's get started. So when I talk about um, interactive kids books, what I'm talking about are ones that um, either have something that the kids get to press, or it's a lift the flap where they have to manipulate something, or where the text talks directly to them and tells them to do an action. Um, so it's a really, really good way of making books fun. Um, especially if you've got some kids who don't like sitting still for stories, um, this really immerses them in the story. So, the first one I want to share with you is called The Button Book by Sally Nichols and Beth Ann Wolven. And this one features a group of animals who speak directly to the reader and they keep telling the reader to press buttons. Uh, sometimes they tell you to press the yellow button, sometimes they tell you to press the green button, and whichever button you press, it does something different. Um, so you press the button, you turn the page, and you see what happened because you pressed the button. So it's kind of exciting, kind of suspenseful, seeing what's going to happen. Um, it's also a great one for uh, getting an opportunity to do all kinds of different actions um, because some of the buttons will make you clap, some of the books, bu buttons will make you sing, um, some of the buttons will make you tickle each other. So it's a great one for reading as a parent child or a grandparent child, anything like that. So that's The Button Book by Sally Nichols and Beth Ann Wolven. And another picture book to share with you. This is maybe my favorite um, interactive picture book at the moment. This one is called Don't Blink by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and David Roberts. And it fe features this little cute owl. And he, all the way through the story, keeps telling the audience not to blink. Um, so if I read the first page to you. Here's how it works. If you can avoid getting to the end of this book, you can avoid bedtime. Simple as that. It's a pretty sweet deal, actually. But each time you blink, you have to turn a page. Those are just the rules. So whatever you do, do not blink. And then you sort of st stare at each other and wait for the child to blink and then you can turn the page. So it's a really fun one to read at bedtime because you get closer and closer to bedtime um, because you're blinking is, is the way the owl looks at it. And it's, it's a really good one too, like let's say you're a grandparent who can't see your grandchildren at the moment because of COVID and you're maybe reading stories over video like we're doing our story times over video. It's a good one for that format because you can um, do the interactivity through the video screen and kind of have staring contests with each other. So that's Don't Blink. Next up, we have one that's got an interesting concept. This one is called Dinosaurs by Sarah Hurst and Lucy Crisps. It's a shine a light book. And uh, the library has about 13 books in this series. And the interesting thing about these books is in order to read them, you need to have a flashlight uh, because there is uh, things hidden on each page that will only show up if you use your flashlight to look at each page. And um, each of the books, they're, they're nonfiction, so there's lots of facts about different, um, different topics. So this one, of course, is all about dinosaurs. So lots of facts about dinosaurs while also having fun trying to spot um, what is hidden in each picture. So completely kind of different concept. So that's dinosaurs. There's also ones on the human body, um, going to the hospital, going to the library, just a whole bunch of different ones. And then I thought I would bring a um, choose your own adventure type book. This is Could You Escape a Desert Deserted Island by Blake Hona. And in this one, it's kind of the classic choose your own adventure type book where you read a little bit and then you have a choice of do you want to go to this page where you're going to be going in a helicopter or do you want to go to this page where you're going to be going on a boat and you c basically get to choose where the story takes you. Um, be aware with this one, there are, of course, some happy endings that you manage to get off the deserted island. There's also um, some of the endings where the person, you know, if you choose, <laughs> choose certain endings, you end up kind of stranded on the deserted island forever. Um, so it's, you may not have a happy ending in this book. 
And then finally, we have In the Garden by Emma Giuliani. This is one that just came across my desk very recently, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a lift the flap book, um, and kind of a lift the flap book for older children, because it's absolutely packed with information. Everywhere you look, you can open a flap. Oh, this one's really cute, a little uh, garden shed that you can open up and get all kinds of different facts about gardening and it goes through all the different seasons in the garden and what's happening, what the worms are doing. Uh, that's winter, the beginning of summer, we've got some flowers we can move, um, a robin to look and see what's going on in there. So beautiful, beautiful book. Um, you could really spend hours on here and <laughs> there's some great facts in there for adults too actually. Like I didn't realize you can keep bunny rabbits away from your garden by uh, using uh, spoiled milk, which is one fact I picked up from that book. So those are the six books I, six books, those are the five books I brought to share with you today. Um, I hope you liked them and um, I hope you'll check them out of the library soon. Uh, if you're interested in other interactive books, please get in touch with me or the staff at your local branch and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks so much. Bye.